Howdy, everyone. Working on the um, the engine mounts, the first thing that I started with was just very simply to drill out these two holes here, this one and this one right here. These are pre-punched into the uh, firewall. You can see an example of an undrilled one right here. So that is an undrilled pre-punched hole in the uh, the firewall itself and there are four. There's basically one in each corner. All I had done was, I believe, I'll have to look, but this is close to a quarter inch already. So I just started with a drill that just fit this pre-punched hole and I used that to drill all the way through and then I just gradually stepped up to the full size, which is 3 8 And I've got my drills here. So these are the drills. Like I said, this is, let me look at this, hold on. All right, so I start with a number nine drill. This is a number nine. That seemed to fit the best into the existing pre-punched hole on the firewall. And then I just worked my way up in steps to the full 3 8 Again, it's stainless steel. It's very thin, so it's tricky to drill. But just go really slow. Use light pressure. Usually when you drill stainless, you want to use a lot of pressure, or heavy pressure, I should say, maybe not a lot, but you want to use a little, you want to go lighter on the pressure because when it breaks through the stainless, the drill bit's going to want to grab. And if it grabs, it's going to pull the stainless towards you. As the drill tries to screw itself in, it's going to pull the stainless out. So go uh, relatively slow, not too slow. Light pressure till you break through the stainless. Then you can run your drill at full speed and, and drill through the aluminum. And if, as always, make sure that you drill square to the, to the firewall. So that was really easy. I just chose the top two because they're easy, the easiest to get to. You can just stand and drill. And fortunately for me, that worked absolutely perfect. Um, I brought the, uh, the engine mount over and it, it was, I was able to slide it in place over top of both of these top bolts. Um, there was something else. I don't recall. Oh yes, just like always, after you get done drilling these holes, make sure you clean out the, uh, the chips behind it. You have the fire, the stainless steel firewall and behind it, you've got a stack up of aluminum and you want to clean the shavings out between this and that first aluminum plate. And you can get to that through here, this seam here. Again, using my really thin spatula blade, I was able to kind of come down in next to the hole and then kind of drag the shavings out this way. And I used a little bit of compressed air to help blow them out and things like that. It's not perfect. Um, thanks to gravity, everything wants to continue to sink down in there further and further, but I was able to get that cleaned up. Deburr, obviously, once you're finished and put your bolts in and then trial fit the, uh, the engine mount. The other thing that I had done, the fuselage is very close to being level. It's very close to being level side to side. It's not perfect. It's not like I had it when I fit the wings. I just braced, basically brought it back into the shop and set it up close to the way that I had it. But using a digital level, I put the digital level on the, uh, the, the wing spar pass through here. I put my digital level on it and then I zeroed the level. And then with the engine mount in place, so this is, this is the bottom here, and I'll show you this once I get it on, but you can picture it upright with the digital level zeroed to the spar. After I had this in place, I just put the level across here, across this piece here. And I also did another check on this piece here. And they're very, very close. I mean, they're within a half a degree of, of each other. So I'm very happy with that. It's nice and level. So 
I had it pre-fitted initially and these cutouts, these larger tubes for the landing gear, those interfere with the corners at the bottom of the fuselage right here. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm just working on cutting this flange back to give room for the landing gear legs to come up through here. And these are just rough cut. I've got this corner cut out, and of course I've got that corner cut out, just roughly. What I'm gonna do now, it's just trial and error. I'm gonna put the engine mount in place and check it, and then I'll clean them up as I go little by little till I get it the way that I want it. With the flange in the way, that that tube for the landing gear hits that, so you the you can't get the bottom of the engine mount to lay flat against the firewall. So I I'm not going to um, match drill those bottom holes until I'm able to get this the mount itself flat against the firewall. And of course I can't do that with these with these flanges being in the way. So that's why I'm cutting these back. So let me get the uh, let me get the mount back up here on this firewall and I'll uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, stand by. <laughs> 